In this video, we will be covering the DC Shadow attack. DC Shadow is a feature of Mimikatz, which is used to create rogue domain controllers that can push changes to Active Directory. This uses native replication techniques, so it cannot easily be prevented, uh, and it avoids typical detection, so you're not going to see these changes that are pushed in your event logs. It does require administrative rights, so it is seen as a persistence technique for an administrator to create back doors to Active Directory once they've obtained admin level credentials. Let's take a quick look at how this works. Once an attacker has compromised an admin account, they can go to any domain joined computer or workstation and create a change that they wish to replicate. Now they just need to create a rogue DC in Active Directory. They do that by registering specific service principal name values on their rogue DC computer where they are executing DC shadow from. Then they will create a rogue DC entry in your configuration namespace under your servers. They will trigger replication to a valid domain controller, which will then see the pairing in the configuration namespace and go to the rogue DC to pull replication data from. That change will be replicated, and after it's all said and done and the change is committed, DC Shadow will clean up the tracks, remove the SPNs, and delete the rogue DC from the configuration namespace. So let's take a quick look at this attack in action. I'm going to log on to a workstation PC here as my user Tony, who is a domain administrator in my environment. Now DC Shadow can be used to push any change, this is used for persistence, but in this demo, I'm going to show you how this can be used for privilege escalation. Let's say Tony here has compromised a domain admin account, but wants to move into another trusted forest as an administrator. You can do that, typically, if you have those rights. I'm gonna show you using Mimikatz right now. If Tony wanted to use the DC sync att attack to replicate from a different domain, I'm in the JeffLab domain, we want to replicate from the GoBias domain, which is a separate forest, and I want to get the KRB TGT account. I don't have rights to do it. I'm only a domain admin in JeffLab, not in GoBias. So what can I do? Well, I can add to my SID history a SID from the GoBias domain, and then that will carry through to my authentication and give me those elevated rights. So the first thing I need to do is create a change using DC shadow. This needs to be done as the computer account that is the rogue DC. So I am going to run PS exec and pass in commands, command flags, to make sure I run as the system account. So now these changes will be pushed under the context of the rogue DC. Once I'm running as system, I'm going to launch Mimikatz and copy in my change, which will push to my Tony account, the SID history value from the other domain. You can see that this is being hosted now. There's an RPC server waiting for somebody to ask it for replication data. Now all I need to do is launch Mimikatz again. And from there, I'm going to run as my Tony account. And all I'm going to do is trigger a push. This is going to register my shadow DC. It's going to trigger against the valid DC to push the replication. And once that replication data is committed, it's going to perform the unregistration to clean up the tracks. So once that's done, I need to log back out and log in again so I can get my updated access token with my new SID history. So I'm gonna log back in as Tony. Now that I'm back in as Tony, let's take a quick look. You can see I now have the GoBias AD admins group, which is what I just pushed as part of my SID history. It's now in my access token. So now all I need to do is try that same Mimikatz command to do a DC sync against the GoBias domain for the KRB TGT account, and there you go. I've got the data. I can now use this account to create golden tickets and gain uncontrolled access 
to this forest. So we just saw how you can use DC Shadow to push changes, in this case to SID History, that gave me elevated credentials in a separate trusted forest. Uh, and all of this is done without any native detection in the logs. Hopefully this video helped you understand the DC Shadow technique. And if you need to learn more, please read our attack page in the uh, blog post that we have on the subject. To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com slash attack.